flies, sewage, and other stuff that can make you sick. We're talking about brand new restaurants inspection reports. They just barely opened at the St. John's Town Center. And First Coast News' Brittany Dion is live tonight outside the Town Center, helping us make sense of these latest inspection reports. And Brittany, they sure did reveal a lot. Well, Heather, I'll try to do my best to make sense of this, but uh, people we've spoken to say it's hard to believe that all of these restaurants that are brand new in this area are already having these kinds of problems. You know, if you drive over here near the town center, you can see that there's restaurants lining the block, but we looked at uh, three of the popular ones that we wanted to choose here. We have Cheddar's, Chewy's, as well as Red Robin, and these inspection reports run the gamut on different issues from mishandling food to having hazardous materials materials near food. It's a lot going on, especially here at the Red Robin, who has 19 violations against them, including having raw sewage on their property. I spoke to a customer who says he's frankly disappointed. With all the new restaurants popping up at the St. John's Town Center, the options of where to eat are plentiful. But recent health inspection reports show new doesn't mean clean. John, so would you go to a restaurant that you know has flies in the kitchen, is mishandling food, and there's even raw sewage on the outside of their building? I would not. Most people wouldn't, but that's exactly what a recent health inspection at the popular burger joint Red Robin uncovered. 19 violations, some even reported to cause foodborne illnesses. The Department of Business and Professional Regulations reports Red Robin met inspection standards during their first inspection in June. However, just a few months later, the health inspector was back on site due to a complaint. That inspection on November 1st uncovered live insects mishandling food and even raw sewage on the ground. Flies were found in the kitchen near the food prep area. They had raw sewage on the ground outside of the restaurant's back door. Their cleaning of silverware and dishes was called into question because the dish machine didn't have enough chlorine and sanitizer. The restaurant was even ordered to stop selling food because they weren't at the right temperature. And forget about using soap to wash your hands. The report says the dispensers weren't working either. As for the staff, they didn't have proper training certifications. We spoke to John Higgins, who's a customer. It was actually really good. The people were nice. I mean, the service was good, and you would never have thought, you know, that kind of stuff was going on. A few days later, during a follow-up inspection, the majority of the issues had been corrected, except the staff still couldn't prove they'd undergone training in food safety. Do you think you'll give them another chance, or? Probably give them some time to get it cleaned up, maybe give them a month or so, and hopefully they'll bounce back. Now, several people say they will give these restaurants uh, another chance, a chance, especially Red Robin. They just they're saying they're new and maybe they just need to get their act together as far as how to handle food and handle their business here. Now, the restaurant was not shut down. In fact, this parking lot this evening was packed with customers. The entire line here of stores was packed with customers um, and they do have a follow up inspection scheduled in the coming weeks. Now, we have reached out to Red Robin as well as the other restaurants for comment. We'll be sure to update the story on our website at firstcoastnews.com when we hear back reporting live on the south side. I'm Brittany Dion, First Chris News on your side.